Here, Moscow's launching a major revaccination campaign today with a highly contagious Delta strain of COVID dominating new infections. Booster jabs were initially meant to be annually, but given the current intensity of the pandemic, doctors now revising a fresh shot every six months. Moscow's mayor is saying both Sputnik V and its light variant are suitable for that job. Well, the capital's booster jab drive comes, you can see the graph here, shocking really, as uh, Delta strain infections are surging nationwide, like we've seen elsewhere around the world. The country's caseload has more than doubled in recent weeks, peaking at to 20, uh, more than 23,000 daily cases Thursday. And there's this too to uh, worry about. Uh, Moscow, also a particularly grim one for it, so far registering more than 7,000 cases. Well, that spike has prompted the city to produce a system of QR codes now and uh, forge ahead with that. Let's take a closer look at how that works. It's been a bit ropey, as you'll find out in a minute, but generally not bad. They're supposed to enable someone to get access to certain places. To do that, to get a QR code, you need to prove you're either fully vaccinated, you've got antibodies, or you're able to present a negative PCR test that's no more than three days old. RT's Konstantin Roskov put his QR code practically to the test for us. This is the result. This is my QR code, something party goers now can't live without in Moscow since this has become one of the only way to get into a restaurant or bar here. So I decided to investigate how the system works and whether it actually does it all. So let's now uh, go to a couple of places here together. Uh, we decided to start off uh, with uh, one of the most popular places in my neighborhood. Uh, it usually has lots of customers all day long. Uh, I also brought my son along. Uh, he hasn't been vaccinated and uh, he hasn't had COVID, so he doesn't have a QR code. So we're going to see if this is going to be a problem. There is a line outside. Let's find out what's going on. Здравствуйте, а как можно зайти внутрь? Внутри зал не работал, заказал. А у меня есть QR-код а, а, о вакцинации. То есть внутри нельзя даже с QR-кодом? Well, it turned out my local fast food restaurant was serving takeaway orders only. No indoor dining was allowed regardless of vaccination status. Почему вы никого не пускаете в зал? Почему по QR-кодам не стали пускать? Как только его привезут, мы начнем запускать сам. Apparently, not every restaurant in Moscow was able to organize QR code scanning in time. Anyway, there was another place across the street we decided to check out. А у вас можно сюда зайти все нормально по QR-кодам? This time, the staff did have the necessary equipment, which is just a regular smartphone, by the way. But then something weird happened. My QR code didn't work. I had to go to a government website, download the QR code again, and it finally worked. But then something else came up. In Moscow, you need to show your uh, vaccination certificate along with an ID. I had a passport on me, but my wife had only a driver's license. Even though having a passport is not a rule, we were denied indoor service. They only let us sit outside on a terrace. Bottom line is that we were denied uh, to dine in at the second place uh, this morning. So uh, we're gonna keep looking for the right spot. And finally, we managed to get through. At this Turkish restaurant, everything went on without a hitch. They also let our eight-year-old unvaccinated kid in. As we were told, young children are allowed inside if their parents have valid QR codes. I'm officially inside a COVID-free zone. And I can't get rid of the mask. Yes, once you're inside, you're back to the pre-COVID era. No masks or social distance are required. As you can see, it's pretty deserted. I think that we are the only customers at the moment. I know there are two more people out there, but otherwise it's, it's pretty empty. For vaccinated customers, the immediate benefits are quite obvious. Now there are always plenty of tables available and you can enjoy waiters' undivided attention. For restaurant owners, though, things might not look as upbeat. The fact is that this system has been introduced across Moscow, so people accept it. They come prepared and even say that they have a QR code straight away. 
But at the same time, it's summer now, and they still prefer to relax on the veranda. The fact that we have summer verandas helps, of course. Guests without QR codes can sit there. But it's too early to talk about how many customers we've lost because of this policy. We have to wait and see. So this is apparently something both citizens and restaurants will have to become used to, at least while COVID is still raging. And even though a couple of months ago people were extremely skeptical about getting the jab, in the past couple of weeks Moscow authorities received more than 80,000 vaccination requests a day, fueling hopes that one day Moscow will eventually escape from COVID's claws. Kazanin Rushkov, RT from Moscow. That Delta strain, the bigger picture, spread to over 90 countries now. The big 15 by